his body really to die. The Roman soldiers made sure of that. They were experts at killing people. Jesus Christ's physical body was 100% human, not just part human. Our bodies can die, and so could his. When we die, our physical body dies, but our soul and spirit remain. They are eternal, they never die. The same is true of Jesus Christ. His physical body died, but his inner self is eternal and did not die. Yes, he is. Thousands of people saw him alive again. The Bible is very clear. Jesus Christ's physical body is no longer dead. He is alive today. The Bible records 11 times when people saw him. Jesus is more than a man. Although he is 100% human, he is also 100% God, the creator of the universe. He is all-powerful. Although evil men killed his physical body, he easily had the power to restore life to his body again. Copyrighted God's Story Project. When his body came alive, he walked out of his tomb, completely healthy and strong. As you can imagine, when this happened in the darkness, it really frightened the Roman soldiers who were guarding his tomb to keep people away. They were surprised and terrified. It was suddenly very obvious that Jesus was not merely a man. He is God with power over life and death. The people of Jerusalem certainly should have known this already. Jesus had proved it many times before. He raised many people from the dead. One was a young girl. Another was a man who had been dead and buried for days. Here's something else that is wonderful. Did you know that the moment that Jesus Christ's physical body died, he brought many dead people to life in the city of Jerusalem? It's true. The people were alive and healthy again. Many people saw them in the streets and homes of that great city Matthew 27 52, 53 and were so glad to see them again. These were not ghosts there are no such things. These were living, breathing people seen by many. They had been dead, some perhaps for years, and now they were alive because of Jesus' great power. Here is a fact that is even more amazing. Everyone who dies and is a true follower of Jesus Christ will experience this same awesome life-giving power. Jesus will give them their body back again alive, healthy and strong and glorious body. Won't that be wonderful? Millions and perhaps billions of people will be made alive again. Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, grandparents, every person that is a true follower of Jesus will be alive again forever. For all of us who are Christians, death is not permanent. When our loved ones in Christ die, we can know for certain that we will see them alive again. You can be one of those people, if you haven't already done so. Admit that you are a sinner that has broken the law and deserves punishment and is lost without him. Accept his free gift of salvation and life. Become a faithful follower of Jesus Christ, the Lord and giver of life. Jesus Christ is most definitely God. He created Adam and Eve, the first man and woman, in his image. He is the creator of the universe. The Bible says, through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made, John 1 3. This includes all the stars, all the original animals and plants, and even the angels, Colossians 1 15, 17. It is important, not be confused. God did not create Jesus. Jesus is God, and he has always existed. Jesus proved that he is God, by doing many things that only God could do. These are called miracles. He made dead people alive. He walked across a great lake. He made blind eyes see perfectly again. He healed deadly diseases with a word. The exciting truth is that Jesus is now also a man and will remain so for all eternity. He humbled himself to become like one of his own creations. He chose to become a man to help us in an extremely important way. This amazing event happened about 2,000 years ago. The results have changed the world forever. The part of God that is called the Holy Spirit created God's human body inside of a woman named Mary Matthew 1.20. God went into this human body that grew inside of Mary. 
The baby was born and grew into a man. At various times in the past, Jesus had appeared to people in human form. One example is when he appeared to Abraham just before the judgment of the evil cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. But now, for the first time in history, God did not simply appear as man, he became fully human. Yet, he is still God. He is both God and man. One huge difference between this man and every other man and woman, or boy and girl, is that Jesus was and still is sinless. We humans are full of sin. We sin every day. Jesus never did anything wrong, not even once. No matter what temptations came to him, he refused to sin. He has always remained pure and perfect. Isn't it amazing to think about? Our Creator walked among us. Like us, our Almighty God smelled the flowers and touched the animals that he had created. He loved boys and girls. As a man, God experienced the same temptations that we feel Hebrews 2.18. He suffered the same kind of physical pains that we suffer with. He also experienced emotional pain. He even wept about the city of Jerusalem, John 11:35. He was ignored, unappreciated, unloved, misunderstood, and even despised even though he did nothing wrong and always loved everyone, 1 Peter 2:23. Not only is Jesus Christ the greatest man that ever lived, he is our creator. He deserved all glory and honor. I am sure that you have heard what people did to him. It was horribly painful and terribly unjust. He had the power to stop their torture and taunting at any time. His power is awesome beyond anything we can understand. Yet, he did not defend himself. He let himself be like a perfect, innocent little lamb that hurt no one and was sacrificed for the sins of the people. He did this for us because he loves us. Only he could pay the price for our sins. Only he could save us from the punishment we deserve. He suffered for us 1 Peter 2 21 3 18 4 1. Today, he lives in heaven and works to help us Romans 8 34. The Bible tells us that one day he will return to earth to become the rightful king of the entire world. That will be a most wonderful time. Finally, we will have a leader that is good and wise in every way. The earth will be filled with God's glory and justice. Life on this planet will become so much better. Even the dangerous animals will become harmless. The wolf will lie down with a lamb. Isaiah 11 6. Is Jesus Christ God or man? The amazing answer is B-O-T-H. He is God and man.